uh, that's going to help you become better. You get frustrated, you try to find a solution to your problem, you find the solution to your problem, all of a sudden you are you become a better developer, okay? So don't worry about it, it's just a matter of time before you understand it. All you have to do is just keep practicing, keep remaking the same thing over and over again until you find the solution. And once you, you go through that period of frustration and you want to pull your hairs out, even if you don't have much, <laughs> When you go through that and you finish going through that stage, you're going to feel relieved because you're going to know the information, okay? So that's okay. In this lecture here, we're going to be learning about the many-to-many -many polymorphic relations, all right? And I don't want you to be here if you didn't understand the last relations. I want you to go back and understand them, even if you have to make a separate Laravel application, all right? Even if you have to install a separate Laravel installation, go back and create that project on one, all right? So for example, what I mean is, if you're having a problem with a relationship, let's say you're having a problem with polymorphic relations on the last lecture, go back and create a new installation on Laravel and just try that relationship until you understand it. If you had a problem with one-to-one -one or many-to-many, -many, go and create a separate installation on Laravel and practice that relationship until you get it down. Don't come here if you don't understand them because they're going to be very important for us to build any application online. We're dealing with databases all the time. So you got to understand relationships in, La in Laravel, okay? All right. So now we're going to be dealing with many-to-many -many polymorphic relations, all right? And we're going to be following some conventions and we're going to be uh, also uh, following some examples on the Laravel.com website. And I'm going to give you some links here at the end of each section so you can refer back to that. But anyway, so we're going to create, we're going to, we already have a post table, so we're going to leave that on. We're going to create a migrations for videos. And we're also going to create a tags in a taggables table. And basically many to many relationship uh, for polymorphic relations are, um, they, they share a single list of unique um, records okay those unique records are shared among you know the rest of the other tables so if we have a post in a videos um, uh, uh, tables okay they're gonna be sharing tags in our little program that we're gonna have create right well not a program but this uh, you know all this code that I'm showing you all right so anyway let's go ahead and, and do that right now so let's create a migration starting now. Let's clear our terminal. If you are using the other terminal, clear it out. And let's do this now. So we already have a post table. Let's create a, a videos table by doing a migration. So let's do PHP artisan. Okay, make migration. And um, as a matter of fact, let's just create a model right away, right? Just in case we need it. <laughs> All right. So the model would be video, okay, and slash, uh, hyphen M for migration, okay, created. Now the next one would be tags. So I'm going to press my up arrow key, and I'm going to say tag, enter, all right. So we have the model and the migration already together, all right. So the next one after that, believe it or not, is going to be the taggables, all right. And that's going to be another table. And I'm just going to call it like this. Taggable. All right. I'm going to create a model and the migration. Even if we don't need it later. That's okay. All right. We have it there. Beautiful. So now let's go and define those migrations. And let me just take this off. Let's open this up a little bit. And let's go down to app. Uh, HTTP. Not HTTP. We need actually database migrations. And let's start with the. Oh, I don't even see it there yet. So let's do synchronize real quick. All right. So let's start with the one on top first the videos. All right. So the videos, the only thing that we are going to be adding here is a name column. Okay. For the video name. And for the tags table, we are going to be adding a name as well. String name. There we go. 
Now the taggables, this is where the fun begins, all right? So the way we're going to be relating the posts and the videos with the tags is by creating these columns here in the taggables, right? So we got the... We don't even have, we don't even need this increment here to be honest with you, okay? So all we need right here is table. We could, however, have the taggables have an incremental ID. As a matter of fact, if we wanted to, but that's okay. I don't we don't need it here. So this is gonna be an integer, and this is gonna be called tag. ID like this. All right. Now the next one is table. It's another. They're all integers. All right. And this one would be the taggable ID. And I'll explain to you in a minute. Taggable ID. I'm trying to spell it correctly, guys. And the next one is taggable type. taggable two G's actually yeah type and I hope you see right now and we don't even need a timestamp guys I just leave that there all the time but we don't need that that's an extra feel for no reason okay so I hope you see how we can relate them now in a way here we're gonna have let's say the tag ID that's in the tags table here we're going to have the taggable ID. That means, let's say we have a video with ID number one. That's where this is where we go. Okay. And there, here we're going to have the model, right? The taggable type. So it's going to be a nav uh, backslash video. All right. So we're going to put the model in that column here. Okay. All right. Perfect. So the next step here is actually making linking everything with functions or methods right in the models so we're gonna do that in the next lecture just to keep things a little uh, divided that way I don't overwhelm you with information but anyway thank you so much for watching this lecture and I'll see you in the next one guys take care